Welcome to lecture 17, compound expressions in if statements. Basically, this lecture is about how we can make our if statements have more conditions in the check. For example, in the first lecture, we looked at nested if statements. And basically, we had one if statement, and then we had another one inside of it that did another check. It made the if statement check more precise. And that's exactly what this lecture is all about. Compound expressions is how we can combine multiple expressions together into one if statement. So if we wanted to ask the user for their age and say, if their age is greater than 5 and less than 18 or something like that, um, we could do that with this compound expression all in one if statement line. So there are two ways that we can combine these conditions together. We have the end operator and the or operator. So the operator is that, 2 ampersands. That is the end operator. So what does it actually do? So basically, the end operator combines bool values together. And that, by doing that, that allows us to make our if statements um, bigger, basically. So we can add bools together. So let's say I had bool x equals true and bool y equals true. So basically, I'm going to make a chart that describes the behavior of ends and ors. Um, but first, let's just go over an example of what it looks like in a, in a statement. So if I say bool z equals x and y. So this end operator is used to combine bools together in a certain pattern. So it has some behaviors attached to it that combines them together, which I'll explain here in a second. But basically, x, which is true, and y is true, is being combined together. And depending on however it gets combined, it will return either true or false. In this case, it will return true, so z will be true. So basically, how the chart works is, if you have true and, I'll just do it like this, true and true, that is equal to true. And I'm going to leave this chart in the source code downloadable file. Um, if we have true and false, that's equal to false. False and false equals false. And same thing, false and true equals false. So basically, with an end to remember, end is only true when both sides are true. That is the rule of end. So basically end an end statement is only true when both are true. Both. And basically by having that behavior, end only returns true if all the conditions inside of that if statement or bool is true. So that the end is used to make sure every single condition is met. So if they are less than 18 and greater than 5. So that's where you would use the end, which we'll do here in a second. The end makes sure both conditions are true. That's the rule with end. Now, the chart for or and the, how or looks, or is two pipes like that. So if I went like this and change it to pipes, that's the or. The pipe is normally above the enter key, and you hit shift. So you hit shift that. It's the shift backslash, um, and that will make the pipe. So that's the or operator. And the chart for that is true or true equals true, true or false equals true, um, I'll say false or true equals true, and false or false equals false. So the rule with or is or is always true, well actually or is only false when both are false. So, or is only false when both the sides are false. So, or is only false when both sides are false. So, or is true anytime at least one is true. And that's what you use or for. Or is used if you're trying to say only one condition has to be true. That is it. Only one is true, and then the whole thing will be evaluated to true. That's what or is used for. So I'm going to take this chart, I'm going to put it to the top so that we can use it as a reference in our code.
So we'll leave it like that for now. So let's go ahead and take this and try our age example once again. That can check. We'll do let we'll do greater than 18 and less than 55. We'll do that without having to use um, nested if statements. Um, so let's start off by saying console.writeLine, line enter your age int age equals console dot read line. Oh, but I need to parse it because it reads in it as a string int dot parse. Now we have our age. I'm going to say if age is greater than or equal to 18 and I'm going to use the double ampersand because I want to say and the age is less than or equal to 55. So this is saying I want the person to be at least 18 and no greater than 55. If they're in that range, then this will evaluate to true because if you look at it, if this is true, and this is true, so we go true and true, that equals true. However, if they are less than 18, so let's say they're 15, that would make this false, the first one false. And actually, the second one false also. So then the whole thing will be false. So the N is just a way that we can combine these conditions together. So this will make it work how we want. So I'm going to say good to go else there is some problem something is wrong so let's go ahead and run this so if I type in 20 which is in the range good to go but however if I type it again and I say um, let's say 10 instead there is some problem so the n combined it in a way where all the conditions have to be true. Let's do um, over 55 so you can see that side. If we do 60, it says there is some problem again because that made this side false. Even though I type in 60, that makes this true because 60 is greater than 18. However, 60 is not, I mean, 60 is greater than 55. So what that would look like, that's a true and a false. True and a false, which makes a false. So that's why the whole thing is still false because this is used to combine them together so th that makes this false now we're going to switch this to an or even though this won't make logical sense i want you to just see what happened so to switch it to an or i use the double pipe so now i have an or statement and the or is as long as one is true the whole thing will be true so if i type in 20 it's fine it's going to say good to go which is fine. If I type in 60, however, let's type in 60, what will happen is 60 is greater than 18. So that's true. So no matter what happens, we have one true, the whole thing is going to be true, no matter what. Because a tr oh, an or statement is true if any of the conditions are true. So if I run this, good to go, it says, even though it's not good to go. Now, also, let's say if I type in 5, let's type in 5, notice how it still says good to go because 5 is not greater than 18, so that that's false. However, it goes false or is, 50, or is 5 less than 55? Yes, it is. That's true. So now it's a false or true, and you look up in the table, false or true is true. So the whole thing still evaluates to true, thus making it display good to go okay now let's try to make this application a little bit more practical and a little bit more complex let's convert it into a movie application where basically it checks to see if you apply for a discount at the movie theater basically the guidelines will be if you are less than 12 you get a discount no matter what you are less than 12 now there's another part of the guideline for a discount that says if you are over the age of 65 and the rating of the movie is G, then you are accepted for the discount also. So notice how there's two separate parts here. If they're less than 12, they're good. Or if they're 65 and it's a, a G-rated movie. Notice how I'm saying or and I'm also saying and. 
So now we're using an, an or and an end at the same time in one if statement. And now this can raise some issues. So let's go ahead and make this program first. So the first thing I need to do is I need to also ask the user for the rating of the movie, which I'll store as a character. So I'm going to say console.write line, what is the movie rating? And then they'll enter it and I'll say character um, rating equals character dot parse console dot read line. So I have the rating now stored. So now we have to say, okay, if the person is less than 12, they're accepted to the movie. So I'm going to say if age is less than or equal to 12, no matter what, they are accepted right now. Um, so let's go ahead and add that console dot right line discount applies so we just say okay you're good to go you're accepted now we need to add it because we also need to add if they are greater than 65 and it's a G rated movie they also get the discount so basically we if this is true no matter what it's going to apply and that kind of hints to you okay we should use the or for that because if this is true as long as one is true it applies so I'm definitely going to have an or in this. So if there is if they're less than 12 or the age is greater than or equal to 65 and the rating equals G, then the discount applies. So how this is read is basically it's this or this. These get combined with the end. Now, when we see an end and an or together or multiple um um, and and or operators together um, and always takes precedence so and will be evaluated first so it's gonna say okay let's take a look and evaluate this okay is the age greater than and then greater than or equal to 65 and is the rated rating equal to G if that is the case that or age is less than or equal to 12 so basically this gets checked with this that, that end gets basically combined those together so let's go ahead and just test this out and see what happens so I run the program let's start off with simple we'll say he's five years old and the rating is G discount applies no problem let's try that again five years old and we'll say it's not it's R the discount still applies because of the or statement as long as they're 12 it does not matter what movie it is less than 12 um, the discount always applies, it says, which is correct so far. Now let's try greater than 65. So let's say I'm 66, and it's an R-rated movie. Notice how the discount is not applied because it needs to be greater than or equal to 65, and it has to be a G-rated movie. So that did not work. However, we try 66 again, and then a G-rated movie, you can see the discount does apply. So that's how it works with multiple ends and ors in the same exact if statement. If you just take it step by step and read it, it should make sense. If the age is less than 12, or, so boom, right there you know it's an or statement. So if it's less than 12, it will it will get the discount no matter what. Or, so the second way that you get a discount is if the age is greater than 65 and the rating is equal to G. So the end means that both of these have to be true. The or means only one of them has to be true. Now, just the same thing that we had with the um, precedence and the order of operations with um, our arithmetic, ha we have the same exact thing with these. So parentheses can force a certain expression to be evaluated. So let's say we want to confuse the program a little bit and put parentheses around this section right here. Now this completely changes how the program works. So how it's read now is these are evaluated first. So it says your age is less than or equal to 12 or it's greater than 65. So if you fall in that range, this side of the end will be true. So that will be true. But then on the right hand side, you also have to be G. So now in this case, no matter what, you have to be watching a G rated movie in order for the discount. It does not matter what your age is. If it's not G, you will not get the discount because the end says the whole thing needs to be true for anything to be true. So let's go ahead and say we are, let's say we're five years old, but we're watching an R rated movie. We do not get the discount anymore because of those parentheses. 
However, if we are five years old and it is a G-rated movie, we get the discount. If we're 20, however, let's say we're 20 and it's a G-rated movie, we're not going to get the discount because I don't make the left-hand side of the end true. That has to be true, but that's not true because 20 does not make those, those um, expressions true. If I am 66 and the movie is G, now it works out again. All right, so that's it for this lecture. The main point of it was for you to understand the difference between and and or. So I'm going to leave these two charts inside the source code file for the uh, for the downloads for this lecture. So if you want to see it or the source code for any lecture at that, the source code is always there. Um, but hopefully you understand that or means that only one has to be true for the whole thing to be true. And means the whole thing needs to be true for the whole thing to be true or I mean n means that both conditions left and right need to be true for the whole thing to be true um, in the next le lecture we'll be looking at switch statements which is basically another way that we can write the if else series that we did in the first section or in the second section that checked the age if you're one if you're two if you're three switching is another way to do that but if you want to see that go ahead and look at that lecture